All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ray, and welcome back to another AKW video. We are here in the beautiful town of Battleon to celebrate May the 4th be with you, also known as Star Wars Day. Oh, um, why did the sky go completely black? What's going on? Oh my god! I'm just kidding, of course. Lore is fine, everyone is alive, the game is alright. But that allows me to raise a question. What happens if the Death Star was aimed at Lore, and it was about to blow the whole thing up, all of these years of work that all the heroes have put into the game? What kind of storyline could we make out of that? Let me know in the comment section down below, I'd like to see your imaginations go wild. Alright, so I actually haven't opened the Star Wars Celebration Shop myself yet, so I'm going to be looking at these weapons for the first time with you guys. Of course, it's going to be in shops and in the featured gear for the monthly item showcase, which we are currently in May, so this will be the May featured item showcase. Here we have the Golden Technoblade, which looks pretty cool. Now, I heard on the design notes that these weapons are actually imported from MechQuest, and here we go, it says it right here, imported from the MechQuest timeline. It's a pretty interesting fact that they took this in from MechQuest. Now, this is a seasonal item rarity, and this is actually the first year that these weapons appear in this shop, so they're not here from previous years, so get your hands on them, and you won't be seeing these until next year. So, the Golden Technoblade for members only. We'll take a look at that. I've already gone ahead and bought it, so we are here, and we'll take a look at that in just a second. Now, we have the Shadow Slice Energy Blade, which is a thin-looking katana type of blade which is of course a laser thing imported from MechQuest. We'll take a look at that in a minute also, I like the style. Then over here, this stuff has nothing to do with Star Wars Celebration Day, but over here we have the Toxic Energy Daggers. I have no idea if this is dual wielded, but it's for non-members, anyone can grab this, and it's only 1000 gold. Pretty cool, so we'll check that out in just a minute, also imported from MechQuest. And finally we have the Overclocked Energy Scythe which is a 200 AC scythe, which sadly I do not have the ACs to buy it, but I will definitely buy that before it goes rare. I mean, are you kidding me? Scythes are the best type of weapons in the game. And it's AC tag too, so I gotta get this. Pretty cool looking. If you have pictures, send me them on Twitter, and I'll, uh, I'll definitely take a look at those. Now, we don't have any armors, we don't have any helmets, and we don't have any capes to go with the Star Wars Celebration Day, but we do have a pet called the Master Twang Pet. Came out this year. It will be coming back next year if you don't get your hands on it. Now you have the AC version, 300 ACs for non-members. And it's a little uh, Moglin pet with a, I guess, a Darth Maul mask with a dual-wielded lightsaber. That looks pretty cool. And you also have the member version, 15,000 gold, which we've already also bought. And we're going to take a look at it right now. This is imported from the MechQuest universe, but I believe they actually made this completely brand new for Adventure Quest Worlds. Let's go ahead and open our inventories and equip the weapons. So over here we have the Golden Techno Blade. Let's take a look at it. Alright, first impressions. It's a little bit smaller than I would have liked it to have been, but it's really bright. So if I ever were to make a flashiest item list again on the channel, I'd definitely add this on it. Definitely, definitely. Alright, next weapon we have would be the Shadow Slice Energy Blade. Equip. Okay. Again, it's a little bit small and it's not flashy. I'd expect a energy saber to be a little bit more flashy than that. But the simplicity of this blade is pretty cool. I mean, this could go cool with a lot of sets. I mean, it looks really cool on my character right now. So this is definitely a weapon I'll keep my hands on. The next blade we have doo -doo 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 -doo, is the toxic energy daggers. Now, I want to know if these are dual wielded. Yes, they are. Awesome. Now, these are really cool. These are the same size as that first weapon. And they are really cool. When you walk with them, they go in each hand and they're super flashy. Okay, these are definitely probably my favorite weapons that came out. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom, I think I think that's it. No, nope. yes, that's it. We're missing the scythe, of course, but I don't have the ACs to buy that. 
All right, now let's take a look at the pet, the Master Twang pet. I've got the member version. Equip. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That looks cool. That's amazing. The way it walks, too. That saber. That's a really cool pet. I'm keeping that in my inventory. That's really cool. I like it. Very well done. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, Director. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. And as usual, battle on and have a great day.